When I was in my early 20s, as some of you know, I spent some time staying at Throssell Hole Buddhist Abbey in the north of England. It's a Soto Zen Buddhist uh, sect, and um, I still live in great admiration of the, the very wise people that I met there, the monks. And on one afternoon, I was sat by um, the Koi Pond in the gardens of that monastery, um, talking with a monk who was sat by my side. His name was uh, Reverend Master Wilfred, I think. He was a lovely guy. He ran the guest department. But, you know, I had some questions about Buddhism. And one of the questions I asked was, what is the purpose? What is the goal of, of this practice? And I said, is the goal of Buddhism to be able to accept everything that comes in life and kind of be at peace with it? And he said, yeah, I mean, it's good if you can be that way. Um, but if you see reality clearly, you'll see that it is better than perfect. I thought that was a lovely choice of words, better than perfect. Mm. That's intriguing, isn't it? And um, yeah, how do you get there? <laughs> I think the concept of faith is uh, underemphasized by a lot of people who write about Buddhism. And actually sitting in faith and doing nothing and sitting in non-reactive present moment awareness with what is given without adding anything to it or taking anything away from it. Um, yeah, this is the ultimate expression of faith, is to do nothing. <laughs> the ultimate acceptance of reality when, when you do nothing. You're not doing anything to it, you're not trying to change it. You're not doing any mental activity to try and distort it. You're not distracting yourselves with thoughts because of what is given to you in the present moment is better than perfect but that is something perhaps you can only experience through faith as Kierkegaard said believing is seeing there's something to that I have caught glimpses here and there of this perfection of this better than perfection I, I wonder if it, it can be understood through faith in heart mind this wonderful Chinese poem uh, which says that living is easy for those without preferences and the setting up of for and against, like and dislike, locked in opposition is the disease of the heart-mind. So there's something about our preferences, our tendency to judge this is acceptable, this is unacceptable. I like this, but I don't like that. And we're kind of constantly in this process of judging which prevents us from seeing the better than perfect nature of things. It's a failure to have faith when we start judging. And this relates to the story of Adam and Eve. It's eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil that gets you thrown out of the paradise world that you were meant to be living in, that God intended you to live in thinking you know what's good and evil, constantly going around judging, this is acceptable, this is unacceptable, I like this, I don't like that, that's good, that's evil. There's something kind of infantile about it, actually. Uh, there's something childish. It makes me suffer. It makes me feel pain. And therefore, is evil what? doesn't make any sense. So, better than perfect. Can you have faith that that is true? Can you make a choice as an adult to have faith that that's true? Hmm. Good luck.